Clary, thank you so much. And it's really an honor to be here to introduce the Attorney General of the United States. I think you all know that Attorney General Jeff Sessions continues to build on his long and impressive career in public service, becoming our nation's 84th Attorney General of the United States earlier this year. Prior to serving as Attorney General, uh, Mr. Sessions served as the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Alabama, then became the Attorney General of Alabama before becoming the United States uh, Senator from the state of Alabama. As Larry mentioned, I did have the honor of serving as United States Attorney for the Western District of Tennessee almost 10 years ago. I may be biased, sir, but I've got to tell you that this U.S. Attorney's Office is one of the finest in the nation, and it operates at the highest professional level. And if I can, if I can brag on Larry for a moment, who served as my first assistant when I was the U.S. Attorney, I'm very proud of his leadership and his strong skill set. Larry's been a terrific public servant for West Tennessee, and I think we all, can all take pride in that. Mr. Attorney General, it's an honor to welcome you here to my hometown and to highlight the remarkable men and women who serve in law enforcement here in West Tennessee and in the 8th Congressional District. Having you here today is important. It's an important day in Tennessee because, as you know, law enforcement here at the federal, state, and local level, and really all across the country, but here has been under siege for, for the last several years. I've got to tell you that you'd be hard-pressed to find another region of the country with such dynamic, hard-working, and talented people who care so deeply for their neighbors and for the preservation of their history. Our men and women in law enforcement, quite frankly, are a perfect example of West Tennessee spirit. Uh, many of you may still refer to you as Senator Sessions as you served in that role with such distinction for almost 20 years, but today you visit as the Attorney General of the United States, serving an administration that is pro-law enforcement and is a new and energetic administration. I'm going to be candid with you. Our city and our country, for that matter, has faced an uphill battle over the last several years in reducing crime, and especially violent crime. Tackling violent crime was a top priority when I was the United States Attorney, and it's clear that under President Trump, it is also a top priority today. And like you, I believe that our focus should be on enforcing the laws that are on the books and prosecuting those who break the law. It's very simple. I'm encouraged to see that this is also your approach. I've, I've heard your speaking since you've been sworn in as our 84th Attorney General, and I know that's your approach. And I know that your presence here today shows everyone in our law enforcement community that, quite frankly, the Justice Department has their back. With your guidance and your support, our dedicated law enforcement will have the tools to tackle violence and create a safer community here in Shelby County and in West Tennessee and across the country. I know I'm, I'm biased again, but I believe that our law enforcement here is some of the finest and most capable law enforcement anywhere in the nation. West Tennesseans don't back down from a challenge, and it's clear that you operate with that same mindset. <clears throat> Your presence today illustrates the support and commitment for local, state, and federal law enforcement from both President Trump and yourself. I'm proud to welcome you here to Memphis and Shelby County today into the 8th Congressional District. It's our honor to call you the Attorney General. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you all. Thank you so ever so much. And uh, David, thank you for those good words and thank you for your effective leadership as United States Attorney and uh, Larry, uh, appreciate